On a subway platform in downtown Brooklyn, three teenagers laughed and chatted. They are friends, ordinary American teens who face challenges every time the United States comes under a terrorist attack or face a threat to public safety. Last Friday afternoon, they were working with a film producer to shoot additional footage for a documentary about one of the teenagers, 17-year-old Yemeni-American Faiza Almanastri. Faiza's experience with anti-Muslim bullying three years ago is the focus of a documentary to be released this year. It is a collaboration between Faiza and Albert Mazels, the critically acclaimed director of Grey Gardens. The two met through Buy Kids, a nonprofit that produces documentaries and stories from a child's perspective. Lately, I've realized that so many people care about my identity. And I wonder, why do they care so much about my race, whether it's Black or White or even Burgundine? How could it possibly speak to slavery? These are the first lines of a poem Faiza wrote after her experience with bullying, when students at her middle school beat her with umbrellas and tore off her hijab, or traditional headscarf. The poem won praise from other students and raised awareness of anti-Muslim bullying. I hear whispers behind my back saying, isn't she Asian? Well, I know for sure she's too white to be African, I'm going to say. But I turned around and showed them my bravery, because I don't want them to pick too hard. I want to stop their curiosity and say, Faiza's experience with bullying resonated with her film mentor, Albert Maisel. Uh, I think immediately on meeting Faiza, I felt this common ground, which is sort of the point of the films overall, is to have kids feel that commonality with kids all over the world. And certainly Albert and Faiza had that coming together, that meeting of the minds. Albert had been bullied as a young Jewish kid growing up in Boston by some of the Irish kids in his neighborhood and Faisal's experiences of coming to the U.S. from Yemen in uh, post-9-11 and uh, being bullied in middle school um, pretty terribly uh, resonated with Albert and they had this immediate sympathy. For Faiza, the worst is over, but the scars of the bullying experience still remain. New York continues to remain on high terrorist alert due to the Boston Marathon bombings. But when Pfizer and her friends heard the news at school, they feared repercussions. Just that time, when the principal was talking to the speaker, everyone was looking at me. It just felt like, that's it, I'm done. I just, I just hope that the earth will open up and just bury me inside that time. It just really hurts. Faiza's film of her experience with anti-Muslim bullying will be released later this year. It is her hope that her activism will build awareness of the discrimination endured by over 2 million Muslims in the United States. For NYU Now, this is Elizabeth Matsumoto reporting from downtown Brooklyn.